FAO, through his uh, Zwalim unit, uh, has performed uh, a training on the use uh, and the deployment uh, of uh, UAVs uh, in the field. Uh, this is, uh, as far as I know, the first uh, attempt of doing this kind of training in uh, Somalia. During the deployment of the UAV, we uh, collected about 11,000 multispectral uh, images and uh, we covered an area uh, of about 100 hectares. The images have a resolution of about 10 centimeters and are able to provide very detailed information on the vegetation, land degradations and also can be used for livestock census. So these are also very useful when um, dealing with disaster risk management. Uh, in case of floods, FAO Somalia and Swalin in particular would like to use drones for a quick assessment of floods because actually they can be quickly deployed and have a full understanding of which is the extent of the floods. We have seen in the past flood that this was an information very useful but unfortunately with the satellites it was not possible to capture the flood. Uh, introducing this new technological tool to provide uh, with uh, information that uh, at the end of the day will be beneficial for the Somali people. Actually, uh, this way uh, the government is empowered uh, with uh, data that can be used for uh, uh, planning purposes or for decision-making processes. FAO is uh, very grateful to the Somali institutions for the support uh, that have given to us and for the collaborative approach which was used during this uh, exercise. Actually, uh, I would like to thank the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Environment and uh, Agriculture and Climate Change in Puntland for the great support provided to make this exercise happening.